Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Study Planet. In this video, I am not just posting my task to submission. I will also show how I used Genai tools like ChatGPT and Gemini AI to build the predictive model and summary report. I will also show how I submitted the project and uploaded it to the GitHub. So make sure to watch till the end. Here is task 2. We have already done EDA, exploratory data analysis on Galadium's dataset. Now the next step is build a plan to predict customer delinquency. That means figuring out which customers are most at risk of missing payments. That means we have to find the people who are missing payments regularly. We have to find this pattern. Step 1. Generate model logic using Gen AI. Here we use Gen AI tools like ChatGPT or Google Gemini AI to outline the full plan of machine learning model. You don't need to write code, just plan the model. Key points to include what kind of model you will use like a logistic regression or a decision tree or neural networks and what features are important you have to identify example income credit like credit utilization or missed payments and how the model processes input data to give predictions in step one we only plan the model which model we are going to use we have to decide here logistic regression or decision trees or neural networks and they suggested some prompts compared to this chart gpt given better prompts so i will show you end of the video in step two justify your model choice explain why you pick that model and talk about accuracy and why fit for financial data and real world needs like transparency and compliance example if you pick logistic regression why logistic re regression is good for this task and it's easy to understand and interpretable in finance like that third step evaluate model performance in this step we plan how to test the model the goal is to make sure the model is not only accurate but also fair for all customer groups we include metrics like accuracy and f1 score and auc to measure performance and fairness checks to make sure the model doesn't show bias across different groups example i will use accuracy and fairness metrics to check how well the model performs and whether it treats all customer groups fairly if you are hearing terms like f1 score or auc for the first time no worries i have already explained them clearly in my previous video what is accuracy means and what is f1 score and what is auc and how these metrics are used to evaluate model make sure to check that out if you need clarity accuracy means how many predictions are correct out of the total if you have 100 predictions when you test your model it get right only 90 then your model have 90 percent accuracy because it corrects only 90 times out of 100 this is accuracy fourth step is submit your plan finally prepare a clear report that includes your model logic and justification for your model and evaluation strategies with key metrics here they provided data set and uh, structure of the report you have to submit it and provided description of data set i will show you how i used gen ai tools like gemini ai and chargeable tools to complete this task first i opened gemini ai in my chrome browser i uploaded the data set the actual excel sheet and directly into gemini ai next i went to the forage platform and copied the full task to project description including the task concept and lines then i opened chart gpt and pasted that entire task description here i said here is the task please give me a prompt based on the concept chart gpt generated a helpful prompt and also explained the logic behind it after that i copied the prompt from chart gpt and pasted it into gemini ai i asked gemini ai to help me analyze the data set using the prompt for example i asked gemini i uploaded this excel file now please find the grade and missing values and Ge and gemini ai started generating results based on the data before you use these prompts make sure to read the instructions carefully sometimes if the prompt is too long it might take extra time to generate the response after getting all the information about the data set, I copied the entire concept and results from the Gemini AI and pasted them back into ChatGPT and I asked ChatGPT to create a structured report file. But before doing that, I uploaded the structured file format provided in task 2 to ChatGPT. Using that as a reference, ChatGPT gave me an exactly structured document that matched that requirement format. That's why I used both tools, Gemini AI for data understanding and ChatGPT for 
perfect formatting and documentation these tools really helped me complete the task smoothly in this video the document is taking time to load due to a network issue so i have uploaded it to github you can check it from here check the github link in description and with this i have completed the task 2 submission video and as yes, i have also completed task 3 which i will post in the next video on my channel i have also shared my amazon lmaq role experience if you are interested to know about the role and interview questions don't miss that full video it's already uploaded and thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe to my channel we are very close to 100 subscribers every single like and subscription means a lot to me if you find my content helpful please support by subscribing and sharing